This week's episode of the Living Outrageously podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. For a 100% free audiobook of your choice, visit audibletrial.com slash L-O-P. Dudes, welcome to the Living Outrageously podcast. This is the show where we teach you how to stop living a boring life and start living outrageously. My name's Dave Thompson, that is Matt the freaking man Kelly, and this is the show for creative, passionate and intelligent people who want to step up and make their dent in the universe. Matt the freaking Kelly, impossible is an opinion. Today, we got some pretty cool stuff going on. We do, Dave, we do. This is an episode that I don't know if anyone saw coming, if I may be so bold. Well, up until yesterday, I didn't see it coming no, either. No, neither did I. However, however, I will pose I will pose one question before we get to our quick shout outs, Dave. And that one question is Who wants a hoverboard? Ooh. Uh, yes. Me. Yes. I would love a hoverboard. Me. I would love one. I would but love more, one. But more. But more on the hoverboards later. We're talking about what is going down in the freaky future coming up today. That's what we're talking about. Matt Kelly, some wicked shout-outs. Hit me. Hit me. Some wicked shout-outs, Dave. Okay, I'm going to start on YouTube. We don't often get these on YouTube, so thank you to these couple of people here. Cecily, yes. Cecily stumbled across our little disclaimer video, Dave. And, oh, and, that one. Yeah, from, from <laughs> way back season one. And she wrote... I'll, 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 just, I'll just say it. I wouldn't usually, but I'll say it. Holy shit, guys. I missed this, and I think it deserves a video response, but I'm not getting back on a boat until June, so it will have to wait. You rock. Thank you, Cecily. Cool. When, you, when you get back on, your, on a boat, record a video. That is amazing. Cool. You, we and, might have to put that... Go, Dave. Go. Hit me. Uh, I was just going. I was just going to say, Matt Kelly, we might have to put that one on the on the Facebook during this week, just so people can check that out. I yeah. think we were talking about how um, how you should definitely not act as a result of the Living Outrageously podcast or something like that. You, you should. You should. Even, you should, you shouldn't even watch it, Dave. Don't even watch it. Don't listen. Don't do anything. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, the other the other review is from somebody. I don't. I'm not sure about the the, the name here. It's 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 Diamsta. That is the, the YouTube username, and I love this. It's Commitment Plus, guys. If you are stuck in the day-to-day rut, then these guys are your superheroes of motivation, awesome dudes. Man, I don't know if you're on our Facebook page, Diane Star, but if you are, cool. If you're not, get on there, because there's plenty of other people like you doing awesome stuff, and that is cool, and we love it, so hit us up. Dave, I'll just quickly smash through the Facebook, because there's been a lot of interaction this week. Oh, oh. It's been going ballistic. Uh, it has indeed. Um, listen, I'm not going to read out all of them, but thanks to Wes, he did something outrageous and drank coconut water. That is awesome. I love <laughs> that you are trying something new. Stephanie then jumped in and talked about what she likes to drink. Dave, we both threw in our two cents, and I think Wes is going to try some different brands of coconut water as a result. So that is great. Um, Stephanie posted an awesome uh, video. Wes found a t-shirt. Uh, it was like a... It's like it looks like it's, it's a guy wearing like a, a shirt and he's got like a sloth on his shoulder or something. And, um, he, <laughs> and he, he's ordered the missile strike. So there you go. That person, the sloth, is no longer going to survive. So that's that's sad, whatever. Um, Joanna, Joanna, um, little little message there about a book that she read. Awesome, awesome. Um, Simon posted his thought of the day. Uh, Jeff M, Jeff M, looking up, looking up the boot camp, Dave's epic boot camp breakthroughs. That is awesome. And Dave, more news to come on that, I do believe. Or oh, very soon, very soon. Stay tuned to the LOP. Awesome, awesome. And the last one was from Pryor, who took action, downloaded the ebook that we talked about last week that I'm giving out for free. That is awesome, Pryor. Thank you for, for downloading the book. Thank you for taking action. That is what the LOP is all about, Dave. Samurai. Who reach out and take their ideal life. If you want to go and download the ebook, absolutely. Out- outsourcingwithconfidence.com slash L O P. But Dave, enough of absolutely. that. Absolutely. Enough of that. Because guess what? Guess what? This is action and we are talking about what? the future. Let's do it. I'm excited. Yes. 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 Okay, so here's the deal. This episode is a call to arms for fellow samurai. If you had any doubts about being sloth, now is the time to raise your sword against the sloth and take him down. Now, Matt Kelly and I, we are always on the hunt for sloth, right? Always. Always. And we had a bit of a chat recently 
we identified that we were both very, very good at working out what to do this week, what to do this month, what to do in the next 90 days, even what to do in the next six months. What we weren't quite so good at was working out what we wanted in two years' time. And then we were like, hold on, what about in five years' time? What about in 10 years' time? And we would, I was like, Matt Kelly, what, what do you want in two years? And we uh, 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 yeah, dude, dude, Dave, no. the, the, the huge issue here was there's so much going on in our lives, okay, and when we mapped out our ideal lives, we, we, we did map it out, but the challenge mm. is, is, is going beyond, like, listen, in six months' time, like, that's where you're living your dream when we do these exercises, it's like, like, there's no, there's no time to muck around, that's where this becomes real, so what about, like, ten years? Life is going to get ridiculous, we can plan whatever we want, we can schedule whatever we want. And then take action, make whatever we choose to happen between now and then. To make that real is what we will do. It is amazing. Absolutely. And as I... You are right? Are you there, Matt What's Kelly? going on, Dave? I'm here, I'm here. Can you still see me? You're here? <laughs> I'm getting a bit of lag on your video. It's, cra it's crazy. Oh, but I think we're good. Roll with it. Roll with it. We'll just keep going. Go straight through the technical okay. difficulties. Okay, so I'm getting some crazy um, footage here. So I'm just going to roll with your voice. Is that cool? Do it. Ignore and we'll the video. See how... yep. I'll ignore the video. Yep. We'll just see how this works out. Okay. <laughs> so the reason that doing – and, you know, I actually I actually dated a girl once who um, – her mum was always on her back and she was, she was like, you know, what, what's your five-year plan? What's your five-year plan? And she just had no idea. She didn't, didn't want to do it. Now, we're not talking about five-year plans here. We're talking about a vision. Mm. We're talking about a vision for a particular day in the future. What are you going to be doing? And this is so important and has a number of benefits. I found as soon as I did this exercise that my level of stress, which is almost, which is basically non-existent already. That's, it just, that's, that's, like, that sounds pretty good, Dave. It, it, it was gone. It was gone because not only did I know what I'm doing tomorrow, not only do I know what I'm doing next week, next month, next 90 days, I know where I'm heading in two years' time. I know where I'm heading in five years' time. So I know that even if I'm doing something relatively meaning me, – what's that word? Menial. Menial, yeah. Menial. If I'm doing something menial right now, that's cool. I know where it's heading. Wow, I love it, Dave. This is what this is all about. It's about being proactive instead of reactive. Are you going to wake up in a couple of years' time and go, shit, everyone has a hoverboard except me? Or, oh, damn. Dave, or that's, how about. Oh, God, kill me. Please. And, and, all right. This is why. All right. This is why this episode is important. The way. Here on the LOP, we know it's a given. Everyone on the LOP is samurai. They're creative, intelligent, passionate. They see sloth and they freaking take the sloth down. This is what's happening in the world right now. The, many years ago, throughout the, like, the, the late 19, late 20th century, business was big corporations, right? Massive corporations. Now that we have the internet, it's breaking it down. We're... Turning the economy is turning into a micro business economy where there's so many little one and two person businesses, and this is what's become this is what the economy is turning into. The faceless corporation is dying, right? That's why something like the LOP is having so much success. So, this trend is only going to continue. And the day that we wake up and the faceless corporation is near gone, which is coming, it's coming very soon. You better be a freaking damn samurai. Otherwise, there's not going to be a sloth position to go to. That's amazing. That's amazing. So what you're saying, Dave, is you can be s severely slothed right now. But g but guess what? When, as the world changes, right, and as the economy starts to – as the world embraces mi this micro-business, like, built economy – if you can't flick the samurai switch and turn samurai and create your own opportunities, are you, what, what are you saying, Dave? As, as, like, like, that's what the world wants. The world is looking for these, these samurai to create, to create the opportunities. You can't live a passive sloth life in the future. You, you can't. You hmm. can't. 
Wow. You amazing. can't. I'm, I, we're going to do an exercise very soon where we actually work out what's going to, you know, we get you to picture what's going to happen in the future. And you know what popped into my mind? It might be crazy. It popped into my mind that sloths will be slaves if they're not already. Wow. How about that? All wow. right. Think about that. So, so another another imperative, Matt Kelly, and you brought this up for me and I love it. You said the reason that you want to do this exercise today is because you want to create, not for yourself, but for the world. Create for the world. That's what it's all about. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Listen, right now, you're at a, we're at a point. You can say, like, we are all at a level playing field. Every samurai has the same opportunities as any other, right? So if you want there to be hoverboards in the future for the world, I'm not talking about for yourself. If you want to create that for the world, you are in a position of power. You're in a position of authority. You can choose what you want the world to be like in 20, 30, 40, 50 years, right? Based on what you want to see the world become. There's no one limiting that. There is nobody around. Like, like if, if you say I can't because, that is sloth. Immediately that is sloth. Dude, can I tell you a funny story that just popped into my head? Go. Do it, And Dave. this is awesome. So this is a prime example of someone creating their own future. So I went to, a, I went to an internet marketing um, seminar probably six to eight weeks ago. And there was a bloke there that spoke. His name was Sean Roach. I'm not sure if you've heard of him. I he's a niche. He's a niche marketer. Funny as hell, dude. If you get a chance to go see him speak, go do it because he's funny as hell and super smart. And you know what he's done? He's decided that every single thing in his entire life and in his house and his car and everything he does. He is going to have a niche website in that area so that he can purchase products and they will be tax deductible. What? That is... Wow. So, all okay, right, okay, all right. Okay, okay. Okay, so he owns... He's a very, very expensive and stylish automobile that he gains great pleasure out of buffing and waxing, okay, with the finest products. So, he has a niche site that sells via affiliate <laughs> waxing and buffing products for luxury cars. Wow. I, I suppose his, that makes sense. If, if that's what his, his passion is, why not? His wife likes cooking Thai food, so he has a website in the Thai cooking space. Every product she buys is tax deductible. Wait, so what you're saying is, Dave... Every meal you eat in your house could be tax deductible. <laughs> what a, wow, that is very interesting. That is very interesting. Well, you know, you want a hoverboard, Matt Kelly, and Sean Roach wants to buff his car and eat tax, de tax deductible tie. And you know what? This is the best thing about the world right now. He can. He, he, can. he can. He is. There's, there's he no is. One, there's no one he limiting is. that. There's no one limiting that, right? The only thing that limits he his ability. He is doing that right now. It's amazing. It's amazing. The only thing that limits his ability to do that is himself. And guess what? He's not letting it. He's yes. not letting the sloth. He's preventing yes. the sloth. And he's saying, I want to, for as long as I choose, I want my Thai food to be tax deductible. So in order to do that, all he has to do is create the business around that niche that he cares about and he makes it real. That's pretty cool. I like this, Dave. It's I love it. And I, I, love, I love it that you brought up that point about limits, Matt Kelly, because it's so, if, if you've been listening to the LOP for more than three seconds, by now you should realize that we do not believe in limits. Hmm. Limits do not exist. The only limits that exist are the ones that you, the sloth creates in your mind. Yep. And if you and me have not repeatedly proven that over and over and over and over and over again, then I don't know. Isn't that the whole point of this podcast, Dave, to just continue to, to prove that point, that the only limits are ones you create for yourself? I, well, yes. 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 And, we'll continue, and we will always continue to do that. We will always continue to do that. Absol absolutely. All right, Matt Kelly. So what are we talking about today? We are talking about visioning your future it's like the ideal day exercise, but mm. we're going to specific points in time. We're yeah. going to four specific points in time. We're going to two years from today, 
we'd be talking about May 2014. We're going five years into the future. So we're talking May 2017. And we're going 10 years into the future, May 2022. And we're also talking about, think of your vision for when you're 80 years old. And I don't care. And you know what, Dave? Another point. I don't care how old you are right now. It doesn't matter how old you are right now. It doesn't matter if you're turning 80 next week. It doesn't matter. No. It doesn't matter. No. 80 is the number. <laughs> yeah. 80 is the well, number. Well, maybe if you're 79 and 48 weeks, then you, maybe... You, you can choose 85 at that point. That's fine. Yeah, That's yeah, fine. yeah. But the point yeah, is, just, the, just the, roll with it. The point, is, the point is, adapt it to suit you. That's fine. But the point is, at the end of the day... I'm going to assume that the majority of people watching this podcast, and no preju- prejudice at all, we invite everyone to watch it, but the majority of people that, w- that have interacted with us, Dave, are predominantly younger. So the idea here is to go stretch it out. Go 50 years into the future, okay, and design it. Because guess what? The world's going to be different in 50 years, and you can be one of the people that made it different. Mm. Rather mm. than the people that sat back, slothed, and let everybody else do it. Right? So if you be the one who creates it, if you be the one who decides what it's going to be like, man, you can map out what your life is like when you're 80 years old. Awesome. That's so, so powerful. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. So how do we do it? Well, let's go to the two years, first of all. So we highly recommend you go to nature and clear all the bullshit that's in your brain from whatever sloth you're dealing with at the moment and ask yourself the question, what will my life be like in two years? What friends will I be hanging out with? What will my family relationships be like? Where will I be working? What type of work will I be doing? Mm. How healthy will I be? How much time will I have on my hands? Mm. Now, when we were talking about this pre-episode, we we brought up health, didn't we, Matt Kelly? So Mm. one trend that we can see happening in the world is that, all right, so we go on a lot about quick tips about eating healthy and you know green tea and all sorts of healthy stuff. I don't know what it's like in the states, but or Canada or anywhere else in the world for that matter. But in Australia, it's getting super expensive to buy organic fruit, vegetables, meat, chicken, all that sort of stuff. Isn't I, it? I can tell you, Dave, it is. It's exactly the same in the US. It is. It is more expensive, and people are choosing not to buy the the, the more expensive healthier foods because of it so so guess what i see that and and you see that based on our conversations earlier dave that is only going to increase Mm. it is only going to become harder to eat healthy okay so if all right let's just work this out so if organic food and healthy food is becoming more expensive and more difficult then for people on lower incomes their alternative is to buy cheaper food which is typically comes in a package made in a factory from things like wheat flour and what are those syrups? Well, I was going to say there's the, va- various numbers that I see on the back of packaging. Oh, preservatives, additives, all this stuff, that can't be that good for you. So if you're not putting in good fuel you're probably not going to get the best result. You won't have the energy to be samurai. That's it. So th- this is just a trend that's happening. Is It's becoming – I've heard some people say that in the future, healthy food, fresh fruits and vegetables will only be the domain of the elite. So, so, so based on that then, what do you want to be? Mm. Do you want to be slothed? And do you want to do you want to just sit back and be passive and eat what's what's easily grabbed, or do you want to be one of the elite who goes, "That is mine. I am taking it. I will do whatever it takes to get that because I know that I need that to survive to to remain samurai. I've got to take. I've got to be putting the best fuel in me, man. If if that's if that's who you are, if you're the samurai, then already we've identified that you need to. Already be considering how you're going to step up and make that accessible for you. Mm. Already, you're so, already designing your. You're already designing that life. So in my when I did the two years and the five years, I had things like, I had things like my fresh Alaskan king crab <laughs> is, is direct freight expressed to my front door. Yep. Never frozen. Like, I, 
uh, like a pallet of fresh coconuts from the of Thailand arrive on my door every week, and that's a good, that's a good way to drink coconut water. Just, oh, just straight, oh. straight, straight from the coconut! Wow, amazing, amazing. <laughs> so, those were the sort of things that I was thinking of. Now, all right, if we go out to five years, Matt Kelly, five years. Mm. I believe this is this is where this is where this is where it gets crazy, Dave. Crazy, Robot. crazy. Robots? Why not? <laughs> robots? Why not? I I want robots doing my menial stuff. Like I'm past the point of paying for someone to do my washing, to cut my lawn, all these things. Which, by the way, if you're doing those things right now, have a plan to as soon as possible get someone else to do them so that you can spend your valuable time kicking butt. It's, you and know what? It- there's, there's a simple recipe here, Dave. Okay. If, if I sit there and do a task that takes me one hour, right, I can sit there and do it. Or if I can generate more income in that hour than it takes to fund someone else to do it, I am not doing the task and I am mm. generating income. So and by, by generating income, uh, another way you could read that is serving the world. Could be anything. Could be yeah, exactly, exactly. Very good point. Okay. So five years, we've got robots doing all this stuff for us. Ten years, Matt Kelly. I'm talking hoverboard, baby. I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm not in my car. I travel by helicopter everywhere. I'm talking... I vacation on the space station like every quarter. Yeah, hold so on, hold yeah, on. Yeah, this is mul- multiple space trips we're talking here in 10 years. We're not talking, mul- about, we're not talking about one with Richard Branson. We're talking about regular trips. I'm, and, and, all right, let's talk, about, let's talk about education and stuff that I want to learn. I'm talking about plugging my brain into the internet and downloading exactly what I want. Wow. How cool is that? That is vi- like listen, listen. That is that is. And, and, okay, I've got just going to say, it sounds very, very distant. Guess what? Ten it's years not. at the speed in which the world is changing. Ten years, man. It's the, we will be doing very different things in ten years' time. The world will be a very different place. If you look at how fast we've moved in the past ten years, the past twenty years, man. In ten years in the future. 20s in the future, as the rate at which we innovate and change things increases, that is entirely possible. That is entirely possible. Dave Thompson could easily be doing multiple space trips when you consider what is possible right now. Mm. So if, That's you, a great- if you decide to do it, if you decide to now, it's scheduled. <laughs> it's scheduled. One of my passwords, I, I have, and you know what the cool, here's a little quick tip. All my passwords, Matt Kelly, are to do with future related items. I know that, so, Dave, because because we, we have a shared <laughs> password for one of our accounts and I know exactly yeah. what it is, yes. That's that's not the only one, though. That's not oh, the I only bet, one. I bet, I bet, I bet. That's if, if, you, if you knew my five and ten year goals, then you'd probably be able to hack all my accounts. But Ooh, anyway. That, that makes me nervous. <laughs> anyway. Let's let's move on to all right. Let's move on to an exercise, Matt Kelly. So, I just want you to close your eyes for a second. You can do this, Matt Kelly, and also do it at home if you're on the podcast. So, close your eyes just now and picture yourself when you're 80 years old. Have you got a picture? Mm-hmm. You got a picture. Good. Good. Yep. Okay, so make that picture really, really clear. Add some color to it. Turn up the intensity of the color. And what do you notice about that photo when you're 80 years old? You can open. Have you got a good picture? Have you got a good picture? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Okay, open your eyes. Open your eyes. Now, tell me about that picture. So, what did that, what did that person look like? Well, my immediate reaction is actually kind of scary. My immediate reaction, because my immediate reaction was I was thinking 80, and I was thinking about other people that I know who are 80, okay? And that's scary, because I, I don't want to be like that immediately. I, I don't want to be hunched okay. over. I don't want to require a walking stick. I, I don't want to be that. So, so I immediately went, okay, that's not, I'm not that, okay? So what am I? 
Okay. And, and, and at 80 years old, I'm getting on, but you know, I've got to tell you what I was doing, Dave. What? Please. I was, I was, I was sitting... Okay, you know, like like about a forty two foot Riviera, those boats. We like, yeah, yeah, down, like down the, the power boat. Yeah, yeah, the power boat. I was yeah, sitting, yeah. I was sitting up the top on the flybridge of one of those, just cruising, just cool. cruising, just cruising. I was just sitting, sitting back, just cruising, and that was it. That was it. All right, I like it. I like it. Mm. Now that is so telling, Matt Kelly, because you know what happens when most people do that exercise is they get exactly what you saw, um, which is an old decrepit person. Yeah, that freaked me out. The first, because the way you just, the way you you asked the question was was what what do you look like, and I didn't think about, like like my immediate thought went to what anyone looks like at eighty, and then I went wait, why is it that? That's why, not what, me. Why is that it is what, not me? Why yeah? Why is it what other people are when I know that what other people do isn't necessarily right? We don't, the, the, the point of the LOP is not to be sloth, is not to follow others, and it's to be the samurai and do what you want to do. So I immediately, I immediately went, hold on, I, I'm not that, so what am I? And, I? and I wasn't like, you know, hunched over, and I didn't have a walking stick, and I wasn't stumbling to move around. I had to be sitting up, confident, straight, happy, healthy. Yeah, that was, that, that was what I wanted for myself at 80 years old. Awesome. I love it, Matt Kelly. I love it. Now, if other people at home want to do this exercise, a little hot tip, a quick tip for making it work even better is when you're picturing it, look up. Look up. And the reason that we do that is because you will be accessing your visual. You'll be accessing your the visual part of your brain, so you'll be able to see it. Now, it might be on it depends what it depends what type of person you are it could be on the right it could be on the left that's a well that's a that's a story for another day Matt Kelly but mm. needless to say look up look up and see your vision you're not going to find your vision down low you might feel your vision you might hear what you say to yourself if you look down look up find the vision mm, mm. Very good, Dave. Very good. This All is, right. This is high, high quality stuff. It is. It is. It is. All right, Matt Kelly. So, 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 what if, what if you choose sloth? Well, or what if you choose, man, I reckon this is probably one of the most important exercises to do ever. Mm. And we and Dave, we can both improve with this particular exercise. We've Absolutely. We've, we've identified already that we're, we're pretty good at the short term. What mm. we haven't done enough of is the long term. Mm. Well, let me let let me clarify my position on that last statement. Sure. I've I've done I've done way out. It's the bits in the middle. Ah, uh, there you go. It's the bits in the middle. Mm. But I'm cool, man. I'm cool. I've identified it. With uh, it's it's done. Oh, it's done. Oh, yeah. It's done. Tell, tell, tell you what. In one session, go out to nature, and in one session, you demand demand the answer, and you already know. It's this is this is once like this is another one of those challenges, or one of these one of those things where it's not. I shouldn't use the word challenge. It's not even a challenge. It's one of those things where you just go out and do it, and it's you an will, imperative. You, you will get it. You will get it when you've done it. You will get it. If you don't do it, you won't get it. And guess what? If you don't get it, you're sloth. If you don't, if you don't try, if you don't, if you know this and you don't take any action, that's your choice. It's your choice. That's all I can please, say. please, do, please do it. And the only, the only question, the only question really is, do you want a hoverboard? Do you? I, I, I do want a hoverboard, Dave. Do you want a hoverboard? I, man, I've, I, I, I want a heap of hoverboards. Yeah, I want yeah. a hoverboard. I, I want I, a hoverboard for every environment. I think I need multiple hoverboards. Yeah. So, 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 at what stage do you think that you would like a hoverboard? I think that's. I think that's five years. Lo- without doubt. Without mm. doubt, that's five years. Mm. Yeah, I, I was thinking the same thing. So, without doubt. So, so I, I'm. I'm going to add that to my to my life for five years time, and between now and then, I'm going to use that that goal that this is what I want, right? Just to help me make a few key decisions along the way. And that's all. That's all I'm gonna do. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna change my whole life and become a hoverboard inventor. I don't need to do that. But guess what? When I hear when 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 you hear those random news stories about someone investing in hover technology, 
ah, maybe I have to reach out to that person. Let's see what I can do to make that happen. Because in five years' time, at that point in my life, I want a hoverboard, so I need to, I need to help other people. The people who are going to do it, I've got to be the samurai and empower them. And that's what I'm going to do. And that is and awesome. You know- and you know what the awesome thing about that is? You'll probably also have a hoverboard website yes. so that you can buy that hoverboard tax deductible. There you go. There you How go. good is that? <laughs> All right, Matt Kelly, that is a wrap on the business today for the LOP. Mm. I want to give a shout out to audible.com slash LOP. Go and get your free audiobook trial on us for free. That is our gift to you because we're Matt Kelly is such a good fella. He wants to give you a book. And we even have a book recommendation. It's called The Divided Mind. Don't know who it's by. It's all about how emotional pain manifests in the body as physical pain. And you know what, Matt Kelly? We may be doing a podcast on that very, very soon. So Ooh, that's exciting. The book's called The Divided Mind, audible.com slash L-O-P. Matt Kelly, I don't think there's much more to say. Did you say, Dave, did you say audibletrial.com slash L-O-P? I did. Audible okay, trial. Good. Audibletrial.com slash L-O-P. And I'm looking at it now and guess what, Dave? Yes. What? I've just, I've just downloaded it. Awesome. It is being downloaded at present because that is required. It is a requirement of my life. When Dave Thompson <laughs> recommends a book, I download it immediately and you should as well for free right now. You, you Man, you are a dog. You are, <laughs> you are a dog on your hoverboard. All right. That's it. Man, this was fun. This was fun. We should do this again sometime. We should. Huh? Ne- next week, maybe. 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 All right. Or not. <laughs> or not. Anyway. <laughs> My name's Dave Thompson. That is Matt the freaking man Kelly sitting there on his hoverboard. The only question left is you won't let the sloth win, will you? And remember, if you want a boring life, go sit in a cubicle. We will see you on the other side. Peace out, everyone. (laughs) 